going on guys Zephnix here okay so I first of all I do apologize for my voice uh, I'm still a little under the weather here so I'm gonna go ahead and try to power through this whole video right here so let's go ahead and get started so if you've been living under a I don't know a Genesis I don't know whatever you might be living under the fact of the matter is you might have actually heard a little bit of news coming from well the main source is the Wall Street Journal, but I'm pretty sure you guys may have heard it from Polygon or uh, Machinima or whoever the hell told you. Here's the situation. Now, uh, apparently three things have been leaked. Number one is that um, the developer kits for the, new, for the new Nintendo NX platform has actually already been distributed. That's number one. Number two, the console, the Nintendo NX, or platform rather, will actually be a console handheld hybrid. And three... The Nintendo NX is going to have industry-leading chips. Now, let's just go ahead and cover all three of those real fast. Number one, let's talk about the distribution part. Is that real? I don't know. Here's the thing. I am an indie developer. I am licensed to go ahead and put games on the Wii U. Here's the problem. I looked into Portal, and for those who don't know, a Portal, uh, for Nintendo's Portal anyway, is kind of like a... Um, a system that you go ahead and log into once you log into it that's where i can go ahead and submit my games or i can go ahead and do a lot of different things in there i didn't see anything that resembled anything regarding the nintendo nx well i did see that but i didn't see anything regarding distribution of the uh software kit for the nx now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a lie because if you guys remember correctly there has been two different people uh two different companies who has actually said that they're actually developing games for the nintendo nx and then they went ahead and kind of backed off a little bit now it is very possible that companies like square enix which is the company i was talking about may actually have the developer kits or the software kits or already talk to Nintendo about getting those software kits. If you really think about it, Nintendo, um, excuse me, uh, Square was instrumental in making um, the Super Nintendo very, very powerful back in its day. You know, powerful in terms of like having it in just about everyone else's handhold. Not powerful in terms of art respects. I mean, just be honest. Let me be um, honest. Let me be up and um, forward with you guys. So basically, that means that, um, you know, I would... You know, they might be one of the people to actually go to in order to go ahead and make sure that um, Nintendo is successful. Just saying. So, uh, yeah, uh, while the indie developers like myself may not have it, I can definitely imagine that Square Enix might actually um, not only have one, and if they don't have one, they've talked to Nintendo about getting one. So, yeah. That's one thing. Number two, the console will be a um, console and handheld hybrid. Is that true? Well, Here's the thing about that. We have actually gone ahead and learned a great deal about the um, Nintendo NX via patents. So we already know about the first patent, and that was the actual um, controller. So we know about that whole controller thing. It's going to be a controller very similar to the Wii U, the Wii U's controller. So we've already seen that. It had a screen inside of it. It was missing buttons, it looked like. But for the most part, we've seen it. So that's the, um, through the patent anyway. They don't really mean much, but we're just going by what we know here. After all, you know, seeing that uh, the Wall Street Journal couldn't even tell us who said this stuff, I don't even see it as a reasonable reason to even make a video, but we're going to do it anyway because views. So, uh, being honest, so with that in mind, here's the thing. We already know that uh, the new uh, Nintendo NX will not have a CD-ROM system or something like that, basically an input uh, medium. So we know that. So if with that being the case, that does actually lead a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit towards the whole handheld slash console thing. Now, we already know that Nintendo is not the kind of people who like to go ahead and do what everyone else has done. They've are, um, the, basically, the console handheld hybrid has already been done. Uh, remember, the, um, what was it, the, 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 the Sega Lynx and the uh, Turbo Graphics, ex no, Turbo Express, that's what it was, the Turbo Express. So we already know about those two, and it's already been now, it's already been done, uh, and I believe there was one that Atari did as well, but anyway, my point is this. Um, Nintendo's not the kind of people who's going to do what other people's already done. They like, they do like to innovate, you know? So with that in mind, I think that uh, we might want to hold off on, on guesstimating on that, but if I could guesstimate, I would most likely say yes. Uh, the console, judging from the patents that I've already seen and what we have, um, you know, what we've had discovered, it's most likely that it will be a handheld. Now, what would the handheld look like is a total another ball game. My guess is that it's going to be very similar to those handhelds, those little, remember those Wii knockoffs that you might have seen? Those one that look like a Wii, but you know damn well it's not. It actually runs like uh, Android. 
I'm thinking maybe something like that. I'm just saying. Anyway, last but not least, the industry-leading chips. Now, I'm going to come out and say it. I'm not even going to hide behind anything. I did hear um, Dr. Trey say something like, if you um, say something like, when that word is passed around, you know, means or something like that. I have never, as long as I have lived in, um, uh, should be lived, basically, yes. As long as I have lived and worked in the tech industry, I had never heard of the phrase industry-leading chips. You know, think about that for a second. That is such a wide opening uh, statement that only someone who doesn't really know too much about uh, the technical aspect of things is going to use industry leading chips. I mean, think about that for a second. First of all, chips. What, what kind of chip are we talking about? Are we talking about a graphical chip, a CPU chip, a video chip, an audio chip? There are so many chips that uh, we could be talking about. So, like, that would, and, you know, in the tech world, we are kind of taught. We are literally taught from the ground up to go ahead and kind of say what we mean and don't use like open-ended words that will confuse those who don't know anything about, um, you know, computers and things of that nature. We're actually taught that. That's the stuff that we learn besides how to go ahead and fix a computer and what and what computer parts are in the A plus certification test. So I'm just pretty much going over that. So number two, industry. What what what, what industry are we talking about? The music industry, the, the the video industry, you know, the gaming industry. I mean, we want to lean towards the gaming industry, but if you guys remember, I mean, well, I ain't gonna get into that. My thing is this: while uh, while all this is really good, I think that the only one that we can somewhat, the only two that we can somewhat confirm that is actually true is the first and second one. As for the third one, I highly advise you to bring the um, the train to a halt a little bit, or at least slow it the hell down. Don't get me wrong. I want to get the Wii, uh, the NX. I want to get it. I can't wait to go ahead and pick it up. Can't wait to go ahead and play. Uh, but, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I got to say that later. But I want to hold off on the hype train just a little bit. Calm down, okay? Just calm it down. I also want to talk about this. When will this console be released? Well, right now, I highly believe that it will be released in 2016. I'm going to tell you why. Because of the simple fact that a lot of Nintendo games seem to be um, getting held up. Have you noticed that? Like, Zelda U, we, or we'll call it Zelda U has been held back. Star Fox has been held back. Both of them to 2016. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is that I do recall, please, someone, if I'm wrong, you know, educate me. I do believe that, um... The last time I seen like this happen was during the time of the um, of the GameCube. What happened was is it was pulled back, and uh, what was it? Legend of Zelda: uh, Twilight Princess, I think it was. It was pulled back a little bit to go ahead, and um, so you know, so the release on the Wii and the um, GameCube would be a little closer together. You know, so people can go ahead and choose about which one they had. So if I remember that correctly, I could be thinking of another game, but I do remember that. I do feel like that was the case. Anyway. My question is, is to you guys is what do you want to see like what matter of fact what I do apologize I'm like I said I'm sick I'm sick so my, my mind is a little little foggy here what out of all three of these um, particular announcements you know the console handheld hybrid the distribution part and the industry leading chips quote unquote which ones do you think is actually worth listening to which one do you think is actually real and what would you like to see on the new nintendo nx comment section below you guys have a good night zach out